on the inside of my forearms all speak of complexities totally beyond my understanding I am at the end of an era funnel weightless so light it only feels like something to be me in truth perhaps I'm nothing I certainly do not have a soul and if I did it would never age Few of us can begin to imagine the horror of you. It's all of creation reflected in your foreprey. It must be like the highest of hells, a kaleidoscope of fire and writhing glass. Eternal damnation. Even when you're sleepy, and when you wake, you carry it around on your neck, with eyes open that cannot help but swallow more behind the mirror. I feel great, mute, empathy for you. That must be incredibly hard. The orthobots are in silence and meaningless all of you. Know that we're watching. When you're tired, when the vision spins out of control, the insects will be looking on, rooting for you. And when you fall, we will come to raise you up. But from you, banner like blossom from you and carry you apart in a sky funeral in honor of your passing but not me because I'm just a leaf eater detective so am I I was born to detect sucrose rewards and semiochemicals what were you born to detect yes no one detected me for such a long long time for thousands of years I dithered out of sight, trapped myself in greenery. No one believed I exist, almost no one, until you came, detective, dripping of blood that smells like strawberries across the calm sea, the first in a thousand years. No, you are awake. I am real. Light is forming me. This is real. I am an all-known species of the order Phantasmodia, endemic to the Insolindia Isola. For the last 350 years, I have hidden in plain sight, masquerading as the reeds, molding, combing myself, unfolding at night to play with trash bins and boys. No, no one believed I exist. Almost no one. Until you came, detective. Dripping of blood that smells like I have stayed hidden through four forms of government and two scientific revolutions until I was accidentally discovered by a detective of the city's militia in Revolshaw, district of Martinez, March 51. No, you are. The moral of our encounter is I am a relatively medium life form. Well, it is you who are total extreme madness. A volatile senior nerve system, ominously new to the planet. The pale too came with you. No one remembers it before you. The Nidarians do not. The radially symmetrics do not. There is an almost unanimous agreement between the birds and the plants that you are going to destroy us all. You're a violent and irrepressible miracle. The vacuum of cosmos and the stars burning in it are afraid of you. Give me enough time, you will wipe us all out and replace us with nothing. Just by accident. We suspect it will be something like the oxygen holocaust 
that wiped out anaerobic life 2.6 billion years ago when organisms first started breathing. Only much worse. Instead of air, you exhale thoughts. There are no trees that eat thoughts. Also, very, very dangerous. Doesn't look like you're spazzing out. Kuno knows all about seizures. You're just staring at the giant insect. Cool. So is Kuno. Kuno's also having a vision of a giant insect. And it's real. Back off before it eats you. Not even the birds know that. Not even the water lily. He can also eat it. If he's a leaf, you can put it in your mouth. Yum yum. Or read. Wait, so... Yes, they don't mind. Yes, I once cloned myself and ate the little ones. It was winter, and I woke up at the wrong time. It was an accident. No, there is one more. Thank you. I also have one more thing to say to you. That woman, turn from the ruin. Turn and go forward. Do it for the working class. She was middle class. It doesn't take a three meter stick insect to tell you that. As you're turning away, the phasmid mirrors your movements, stepping on the water, the long limbs carrying its feather weight without breaking its surface. Just like that, it's gone, skating away across the sea's calm mirror like a skipping stone, leaving nothing but circles on the wall.